Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Elise, hello. I have got um, an exciting couple of days planned. I'm gonna take you along with me today. As you will have seen, got out early um, at sunrise just for a walk with the girlies. Was originally just going to take um, Rosie, but then Izzy woke up and wanted to come, so she came along as well. Um, and I'm just getting ready, just putting on a little bit of makeup. I am going this morning to get my hair done. I'm so excited. So I got it last done. Um, I got a really like low maintenance balayage done in May last year. So I was still in the UK. Um, shout out to my beautiful hairdresser, Daisy from the UK. I miss you. Um, so I am going today to get my balayage touched up. I need a little bit of a trim. I've also noticed I'm getting a, some couple of grays here and there. I don't want to see them. So I'm getting that sorted. Um, and yeah, I'm going to take you along with me. I have got more importantly than my hair, actually my hair's, I'm excited about that, but more importantly, I, as you see, I'm in my spare room, my suitcase is out and I am packing because I am going on a girl's getaway, a girl's cruise with two of my best friends from high school. Um, we are going on the Carnival Luminosa on Thursday we are heading out of the port of Brisbane. We are going to float around in the ocean for four days and come back. One of my friends, one of my friends that's coming, there's two friends coming. One of my friends that's coming has two kids. She's never been away from them. I have Izzy. She's two and a half. I've never been away from her. And my other friend, she just needs a holiday. She's been like, she's a, um, oh my gosh. Why is this escaping me? She's a travel agent. Oh my God. Ugh. I was like, she works here. She works here. She works here. What does she call? She's a travel agent. Um, and as you can imagine, like being a travel agent through all of COVID and every, it just, she's had a rough couple of years. So she needs a nice little break as well. Um, so yeah, we're going on a cruise. I am, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm more excited than anything else. But of course, like I'm super nervous about um, leaving Izzy. Aaron's taken all the days off work. So he's going to be home with her the whole time. Um, and he's like so excited. He's, you know, they're going to have, I know they're going to have the best time. But of course, it's a mum's job to worry, isn't it? So, so yeah, so I spoke to her last night about it. Actually, I was in here packing my suitcase and she wanted to pack her suitcase. And I said, mummy's going on holiday and she wanted to come and she got really upset, to be honest. Um, but we'll talk about it again today and we'll talk about it again tomorrow um, because I don't want to just disappear. Like, I'm, you know, I want to prep her for the fact that um, mummy's going away and mummy's going to come back. And I don't want it to be like a conversation that Aaron just kind of like springs on her. Um you know, once I've left, like she gets home and I'm not here and dad's like, oh, by the way, she's gone on holiday. Like, I don't want to do that to her. I want her to understand that I'm going away and I'm coming back. So she's going over to grandma and granddad's, um, for a sleepover tonight. Um, Aaron's got some coursework that he needs me to help him with. Um, we're going to have a date night tonight before I go away. Um, and then yeah, she'll be back tomorrow night and then I leave on Thursday. So it's Monday today for reference. Did I say that at the beginning? Probably not. Um, so yeah, so super busy day today, busy couple of days actually. I'm going to show you. I did some shopping on um, Saturday 
I got some beautiful new clothes um, and some new shoes. So I'll show you those and I'll show you what I'm packing. Um, and yeah, and then I'll probably end this video on Wednesday evening and then I'm gonna vlog the whole trip. Hello everyone. It's future Elise here. I've been on the cruise. I'm, I wanna be like, we interrupt this program. Um, <laughs> why did I do that? Anyway, I'm sat here editing the video. And as someone who has now been on a cruise, um, I realized very quickly whilst on the boat that there was not a lot to film because you don't do much. So instead of making a whole YouTube video of the cruise experience, I'm going to include some footage at the end and that will be it. So I just wanted to jump on and say, yeah, that was a lie, what I just said, <laughs> and it's gonna be at the end. Alrighty, get back to the video. So yeah, let's go, um, I'll put my shoes on, I'll get, I've just got to take my hair out and give it a brush and um, let's go and get my hair done together. <laughs> Really were nicely. So if you look at the sun. Yeah, we have to feed that that just spill this, isn't it? Yeah. So Aaron has just picked me up and we're on the way home. But what do you think? Hang on, I'll pick you up off the it's quite a bit lighter. She kind of um, didn't really do much to the balayage underneath and just took it all the way up. And then she did a color um, through my roots so that I don't have any more grays anywhere. But I love it. She put such a nice wave in it as well. Um, she's a gorgeous girl from Chile. I think her name was Fernando, Fernanda? Fernanda maybe. Um, at Stefan's at Pacific Fair, but oh, I love it. And the cut as well, she added some layers around my face just to frame me. I go through, it's funny because we were laughing, um, and you guys are probably the same, where you go through phases where you're like, right, I'm growing all my hair the same length, I want it one length, I want it one length, and then you go into the hairdresser eight months later and you're like, layer it, cut it, cut it, frame it, frame it. So, but yeah, she did a heap of that for me, but how nice is that color it's gorgeous i'm so happy with it so we're all ready or i'm all ready um it's three o'clock now so aaron we just stopped at the pool shop actually aaron's just run in to see if they've got a part that we need for our pool um we are gonna go home i am um just gonna do a little bit more editing uh, maybe film some content for instagram and aaron is going to do a little bit more study and then I've made a dinner reservation for us at Ali Chow um, in Nobby's which is it's like Asian um, it looks really cool not been there the reviews look great I just found it like on Google I'm um, just looking for somewhere for us to go tonight for a little bit of a date night before I cruise off on Thursday so but yeah I thought I'll show you the update and then we'll get ready a bit later together and go for dinner and I'll show you what we have. But I love it. Love it so much. It's very light. So it's a real, it is actually quite a change. Aaron calls it Australian hair because it looks all sun-kissed. But yeah, love it. All right, guys, I'll speak to you in a minute.
really good. Come here. <laughs> Come here. Aaron. Let me turn the radio down for us. Good morning. Can you say happy Wednesday? <laughs> Did you just wake up by any chance? Yeah. <laughs> so it is Wednesday, <clears throat> Wednesday morning. We had a bit of a lie in this morning because Aaron is, let me just perch you there so I can talk to you. Aaron is off work this week, obviously, because I go on my cruise tomorrow. Um, excited is an understatement, but also like I've been talking to Izzy about it and she's been getting, I've been working no through. Nanny, no more nanny. Okay. Thank you. We've been working through her getting um, quite upset in understanding that I'm going away, but I'm coming back. But I felt like, but I felt like it was important to, I felt like it was important to talk to her about it. Um, so yeah, so Aaron's got this week off work. So he is coming to Toddler Sense with us this morning. So we've been able to have a bit of a lie in. Your glasses, I'll get them in a second. Um, so I was up. Um, just kind of like you know scrolling on my phone as you do um, and Izzy definitely she's just like snuggled into me so we had a really good sleep in this morning which was just so nice and so lovely to get those cuddles before we before I go away so we have just stopped um, as is tradition to get a coffee before toddler sense um, Aaron's gonna get his coffee I'm gonna get my flat white um, and then we'll head in there I'll I'll film a little bit of her in there she's in up in um, it's Easter themed today and so I've bought her the cutest little Easter outfit. So she looks so sweet. So I definitely want to get some photos and some footage of her dress like that because it's just adorable. Um, and then it's back home today. I'm going to do a little bit of meal prepping just for Aaron for the next couple of days. Just make him a big lasagna and make some snacks and some easy ice creams and just some stuff to kind of make it a little bit easier for him while I'm not there. Um, because I'm so grateful for him holding down the fort so I can go and have pina coladas in the sunshine. Um, but yeah, I'll, tell, I'll show you what I get up to today. We're gonna pack together and then we leave tomorrow morning. Oh, I can't even believe that we're going. We booked it like a month in advance and it's come so quickly. Of course, it always does, doesn't it? When you're on the countdown to something, you kind of feel like it's dragging and the next minute you know it's tomorrow. So, so yeah, we'll pack together um, and I'll just take you along today. So, oh, happy hump day, happy Wednesday. It's my heart. That's my little, little ice black, small ice black, long black, and that's what I get. Oh! Yeah, it's got our, we've got our coffee. Hello, you. Mummy uh -huh. need her straight away. Baby wants to come. come. Yeah, okay. of course. I want your tummy. Come okay. on, my baby. Hold it carefully. Do you want me to hold baby so you can hold the camera? Yeah. Okay. And that's past me, baby. Okay, you do that. Oh. Oh, you want to turn around and see daddy? Because right now it's on you. Look. I'll turn it around so you can see daddy. Ready? Okay, you do the filming. 
Izzy. Come, Daddy. Hello, Izzy. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it around. Cheese! Cheese! Me and baby, ready? <laughs> you put fingerprints all over that lens there, Izzy girl. Izzy, Izzy, are you a YouTuber? You can sit over there. Oh, gentle. Smile. So a little bit of a change of plans. Izzy did go for a drive with Aaron to have a nap and she didn't want a nap and she just wanted chippies and she wanted to come home and then she's made me call grandma and granddad um, and then she's told me when I was trying to put her down um, with me to have a sleep that she's got a sore tooth. So she's had a little bit of Panadol. Um, so it is quite a few hours later. So I've made her ice creams. I'm still going to prep the lasagna that I said I was going to prep. So I'm gonna do that now. Um, and then I still have to pack. So I've just made a very, very late in the day um, coffee, but it's needed because I've got a few hours um, of things to do now. Um, and yeah, she hasn't slept, she's still up. So she's just on her iPad. Aaron's here, he's having a little bit of a tidy up um, and then just chilling with her while I get this done. So I'll show you the lasagna that I make. I make it, I don't know, once every fortnight. Um, it's a staple in our household, Aaron loves it. Um, and yeah, and then we'll pack together. So in my lasagna, obviously I need beef mince, and then I've got some carrots to use, some tomatoes to use. I'm gonna pop a zucchini in. I've got a pepper, a passata, and the herbs I use are Italian oregano and rosemary. Um, this is a great, if you just get it from Woolworths, this is a fantastic lasagna sheet to use. There's no preservatives or additives in this one. And then I'm gonna make my own cheese sauce to go over the top. Obviously, onions and garlic as well. I forgot to <laughs> put them in the picture, but uh, necessary, necessary ingredient. <laughs>
so I'm just gonna feed the worms before I go as well so they have a nice meal while I'm away I've actually got a big bucket from the fridge I don't want to leave it in the fridge while I'm gone Are you helping? Yes, Fridge is organized. Sorry, that was, I'm just in my spare room. Gonna try to fit all of this into the smaller suitcase, but that was a really long bedtime. Um, so over the last week I have been talking to Izzy like I brought my suitcase down and all my clothes are in in here and I've been adding things to kind of the pile in here and I've been talking to her about how I'm going on holiday with my friends and her and daddy aren't coming um and of course like there's been huge emotions over that and wanting to okay but if I get like I get a pink suitcase and I can come and me explaining to her that you know how mummy takes you to spend time with your friends and it makes you feel good and she's like yeah and I'm like okay well mummy's going to spend time with her friends because it makes her feel good um and then she'll come back and you know and it's just it's hard but anyway l putting her to sleep um tonight she was already really tired because she didn't nap today as you know Aaron took her for a drive to, she didn't sleep um but I did just kind of like say to her again, like, hey, tomorrow, like, Aaron's going to take her to the farmer's market first thing, so she won't be here when I get picked up to leave, because I thought that would be a bit too much, um, watching me roll out with the suitcase. Um, so I just said to her, hey, like, you're going to the farmer's market tomorrow with daddy, and mummy's going to go on her cruise tomorrow, mummy's going to go on her holiday, um, and then mummy's going to be back in a couple of days. And um, we just kind of like went over it again and she got a little bit upset, but she was okay. Um, more okay than the first time we spoke about it. And um, and then she just spent like 45 minutes just saying mummy over and over again. Um, mummy hold me, mummy hold me. So it's hard. Like I'm, if I'm being like super honest, like obviously I'm so excited to go. Um beyond excited to go and it's needed and I don't feel any hesitation in going because I know she will be okay here with Aaron um she'll be more than okay but it's like and I don't feel mum guilt either I just know like I'm gonna miss her so much if that makes sense like it's you know I just really feel nervous about how much I'm going to miss her and how and I know that sounds silly but like yeah oh, it's just like I mean and, and I'm sure and this isn't just a mum thing it's a dad thing as well I'm sure if you work away or you know mum's you know it's just yeah it's oh it's a huge it's it's huge it's huge going away for a couple of days for the first time and she's we co-sleep so even just like going to sleep for three nights on my own and not being able to cuddle her while we fall asleep together and like through the night feel her like you know nestle over and first thing she does when she wakes up is ask me to move my arm so she can lie on me and cuddle and so it's just kind of I'm nervous about how I'm gonna feel without that as well um I'm nervous that they're gonna call and she's gonna be really upset and that's gonna be really hard So it's just kind of like a heap of emotions, isn't it? And maybe that's why I put off packing my suitcase until tonight because it's like, I don't know. It's tricky. Anyway, I do need a couple of days and I'm really excited to go away with the girls and catch up and, you know, just talk and hang out and, you know, have that kind of uninterrupted time together. But, I still feel really sad about leaving her. Yeah. And the thing is, I know that once I get on, I know once I go, she's going to be fine. Like she might be a little bit upset at night when it comes to bedtime routine because I'm such an integral part of that. But I trust that Aaron's going to be able to keep her busy and he's got so many fun things planned for her. Like they're going to have the best time. 
so many adventures going places and you know I think they're going to go down to like Corumban Wildlife Sanctuary and like you know like so many wonderful things she's going to be so busy and so tired um but I yeah and I'll be busy too I guess anyway I'm rambling but I just wanted to like I think just validate that feeling um because it's de I'm definitely I de it's definitely not guilt I expected to feel a bit guilty about leaving but it's not guilt it's like it's just like genuine sadness because I'm gonna miss her so much um you know she's my little buddy she doesn't go to daycare or anything she's with me all the time um and the most I've ever done away from her is one night when she goes to grandma and granddad's and so it's kind of yeah a lot for both of us <laughs> And poor Aaron is just in the middle of it, going to be managing both of us. <laughs> but he's got this. He'll be great. Anyway, should we pack? Yeah, we should pack. So rather than kind of just like throwing in clothes that I like, oh, I like wearing this, I like wearing this, I like wearing this, or whatever, I plan outfits um, and then everything that's kind of in your suitcase has a purpose rather than just it just being like something that you like to wear. So for one of the nights I've got um, this gingham dress from Seed with the gingham shoes that go with it. I haven't worn this yet, but I'm really excited to wear it. It's so cute. And then for one of the evenings from um, Seed the other day, I said to you I did a little bit of shopping. I bought a whole lot of their linen. Um, so I've got like the black linen shirt and I'm gonna do that with the blue linen shorts. Bit of a mix up. And then I think it will look really cute, like accented find there it is so like the black and the blue with the gold and then I also got the little like blue gold kind of jewelry from seed when I was there the other day so that's gonna be really cute so yeah that's how I like to do it so I do it kind of by like okay like I've got three dinners um, kind of like three days because obviously when I board the cruise ship I'll have an outfit on so I don't have to worry about packing that um, and then I got a really cute bag rather than taking any of my handbags um, I just got this style this shape is so on trend isn't it um, but I just got one from Country Road um, which will just go with everything that I'm bringing um, so I don't have to like worry about swapping bags to go with the outfits and then I'm going to do the so I'll do the black linen shirt with the blue linen shorts and then I got these chunky sandals these are just I got these in sale actually from David Jones um, from who are they Solsana Solsana shoes so like they were marked down to like $80 so they're really lovely and like chunky on so I think they'll look really cool and then I'm going to bring my um, Elias May the nude ones because the other evening I'm going to wear a white linen shirt with the khaki shorts and I think that will look really cute accented just like with the nude and black and then I'm going to bring I've got from Never Fully Dressed I'll link C below in case you want to go and have a look at their stuff um, honestly I love their stuff I'm, gonna, I'm bringing a pair of their jeans I'm bringing comfy clothes from there as well like that's one of like the main places I <laughs> I just realized that I'm just <laughs> bending over <laughs> and like talking to you guys and it's just like my butt <laughs> the... oh it's tired I'm tired it's tired I'm tired it's late um what were they saying yeah I'll link them below but I'll also link like never fully dress as a brand that like I used to 
pretty much only shop there when I lived in the UK. Um, they're a UK brand, but they ship globally. They do free shipping globally over a certain spend. Um, I absolutely love their stuff. So I've got just like a black like wrap dress from them. Um, it's not actually a wrap dress. It's a solid dress, but then it has this string that goes around it. So it kind of gives like a wrapped effect, but it's a gorgeous dress. I'm gonna bring that. I'm bringing just a white long shirt, really light material, just to go over my um, swimsuit. Going to and from the pool, so I'm gonna bring two swimsuits. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. The rest is cosmetics. I'm gonna bring a whole lot of eye masks for us to do in the room. Hair care, makeup, sunscreens. Um, you guys know I'm bringing um, a whole lot of servings of my favorite, oh, sorry guys, of my favorite protein brand just to have in the morning, just so I know I'm getting my protein in during the day. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's get it into my suitcase and then to the ship, to board the ship. I'm just gonna wear, I've got this really cute pair of, um, oh, you would have seen them earlier in the vlog. Those same like black overalls, comfy overalls. I'm gonna board with them and just a white t-shirt underneath this time rather than the blue. I think that will look really cute and then I'll probably wear one of my pairs of shoes rather than having to put them in the suitcase. And I think that's it, an underwear. I have to apologize, I feel like, for the camera work. <laughs> this, this kind of, this vlog, um, it's a bit all over the place, but I'm just tired and it's moving around and I need to get it done. So, sorry about that and I'm not gonna re-record it. So, I'm sorry if you feel a bit seasick. <laughs> Spinning around the room. Um, but yeah, I guess let's get it all into my suitcase. You know when you start to have packers dealt, <laughs> like you've chosen everything you're going to bring and then you're like, oh, what if we do this or what if we do that or what if we do this? And you start to think of like all of these alternative situations that you might need different things for than what you've packed. Like, I might, I, what if we want to go to the club one night? We're never going to go to the club, police. Like, what are you talking about? But now I think that I need an outfit in case we want to go out, out. But I'm not bringing high heels because that's 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 not what this holiday is for me. Anyway, I think I'm done. We'll see. I'll probably add 30 more things tomorrow morning. But I think I'm done and it's time for bed.